Oh my god. I don't know why I'm talking in a British accent, but I felt like it would be cool. You shave me massage you. Oh my gosh. I definitely put a lot of Hey guys, welcome back to my channel guys. If you guys don't know me, my name is Simply Bree, also known as Simply Bridget. And today we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done um my everyday makeup tutorial. So I was like, why not do a makeup tutorial? Um, update it. Um, I know I have like a YouTube short on there and also on like my Instagram reel, but I just wanted to show you guys like step by step and things that I use it down here with you guys, talk to you guys while I do my makeup. I kind of keep it the same way. My majority of my week sometimes i'll do lashes sometimes i won't do lashes sometimes i won't do highlighter sometimes i'll do do highlighter so it all depends but we're just gonna do like what i typically typically go for for my everyday makeup tutorial look so i had actually went to a training event for my job they had to give us this vichy lift active ha anti-wrinkle firming cream therapy moisturizing cream and then they also had given us the newest la roche jose mela b3 dark serum which i'm actually super excited for because when we um tried it in training it felt super smooth yeah i just want to like try with you guys so it comes with like this little dropper and of course the serum so we're just going to start off with this first okay that was supposed to be my forehead but as you guys know i do have dark spots on my face you know i've been trying to not do that it is what it is i am using the Marae Mara. i don't know how to pronounce it the Marae um collagen retinol deep moisturizer and i'm obsessed with this moisturizer when i tell you obsessed like i am obsessed so hydrating it's made for all skin types cruelty free and vegan what's in this substance oh my god and I'm gonna go in with my Heal Me Siska. This is their blurring cooling primer from Joa. Absolutely love this primer. I don't know why I'm talking in a British accent, but I felt like it would be cool. So I'm gonna end with my Clean Fresh Brow Brow Gel to kind of just move my hairs. Like so. I use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation in the color 08 Light Tan. One of my favorite foundations, honestly. And Maybelline LA Girl Pro foundation is really good. You shave me massage you. I put a lot. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I definitely put a lot. <sighs> like I just put like the whole damn near bottle of this foundation by accident. We're gonna make it work. Okay. Then we're gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in pretty sure the shade Medium. Then I use it to like carve out um, my eyebrows and then a little bit on my chin and eyes. I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer in the shade Light Medium. Just for that extra coverage and the lightness under the eyes. It is what it is. I promise I'm not gonna look like this once the look is finished. Just how it always starts off, like I look white as hell, but we fill it in with some color. And no, I normally don't wear this much makeup every day. I think it's because I started really heavy with the foundation on accident that I kind of just ended up looking like I have a lot, but I really don't. Right, then I'm gonna go in with some blush, the NYX blush, and it's in the color Coral. I just put that right in my cheeks, the ridge of my nose. I kind of go for that like sun-kissed, blushy, periwinkle look. And then I just blend it out with the other side of the beauty blender. And I kind of like go underneath the eyes just a little bit. Because I do like that blush like ombre effect with the concealer. I'm going to layer that with the Revlon Gel Serum Blush. And it's very pigmented, a little goes a long way, only just a little bit. And again, blend it out, like, oh. it's so pretty. I just kind of just blended everything together. Again, I know on camera it looks super white and like ashy, but I promise in person it really does not look like this. So we're just gonna go ahead and set it. So I take my e.l.f. Halo Glow in the shade medium and then just go under the eyes and everywhere I put foundation and concealer, which is like everywhere. 
I know most people they don't use um they don't like using like powder all over their face but i do i just don't know how some people just don't set their makeup sometimes i'll just leave the foundation and like don't set it or they'll just set the concealer not the foundation of the rest of their face i just feel like i have to set everything before i go in with any other powder or any other stuff to make sure like everything is matte this may be a lot for people but for me this is not it's like the perfect amount for me i've never had any complaints with my makeup so i feel like i'm doing something right you know right everything is such matte and wonderful this is where we have fun we're gonna take the benefit hula bronzer bronze around the perimeter of my forehead and then my cheekbones i really do like the the hula glow better though but yeah the dupe to that is um the wet and wild um glow bronzer i actually had it but it broke and i just never bought another one but i am obsessed with that bronzer like i love it so much and i am a drugstore girl if you guys didn't know already i love drugstore i've been a drugstore girly since i was little i don't like my contour to be too harsh so i blend this out a little later all right so kind of diffuse that harsh line i'm just gonna take one of my real technique brushes the 206 brush now kind of just lightly diffusing the harsh lines and then i'm gonna take my mora ombre blush i'm gonna take my real techniques 400 blush brush and just apply that on the apple of my cheeks when people say the apple of their cheeks i really don't know what they mean but i just feel like that was kind of smooth to use i'm just gonna put on my high points of my cheeks i feel like that sounds better and i'm a blush girl so like i said i like to go for that periwinkle blushy look and i take my finger and then just kind of apply it on my nose the camera's kind of making me look so crazy right now like i just can't believe this but we're just gonna blend that so i'm just gonna spray my face with the nyx marshmallow setting spray that scent is wonderful if you guys don't know the marshmallow dining spray from nyx actually smells like marshmallows it makes me want to eat the air every time now we're gonna go in with highlighter i'm using the wet n wild mega glow highlighting powder in the shade golden flower crown and like i said sometimes i'll put the highlighter on my nose the bridge of my nose eyebrows inner corner and then like my bows of my lips sometimes i like switch sometimes i don't do it sometimes i do but today we're just gonna do the bow, then my eyebrows, or the arch of my eyebrows. And then of course the inner corner. I don't know, I just feel like having highlighter in the inner corner just kind of opens up the eyes a little more. It just looks so inviting. And then I used the um the shimmer pot powder from Shani. I had this for like years, like years. And I just kind of started using it, but I'm running out of it. But I usually use this for the inner corner of my eyes. But I plan on getting another one. I think maybe from ColourPop or um, Makeup Forever. Because I know they make these little like pot shimmer powders. It's mainly used for like eyeshadow. But I like to use it for highlighter. Because I like my highlighters to be like beaming. Like glowing. Like SZA. You know how SZA has her highlighter like. Like with her nose and everything. Like that's exactly how I like my highlight. I want you guys to see me from a mile away. Then I take my NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. And I use the second shade from the top. And I use it right in the inner corner of my eyes as well. Yeah, so I like put it like right in the inner corner. And kind of diffuse it with the ends a little bit. Then I take my eyeliner. And I kind of do like quick wing liner i don't like it too long but sometimes if i mess up it ends up being long because like i just don't feel like doing it again so yeah i kind of just start off short i do like the little try you see like that wasn't even supposed to be that long but whatever i start with a little line and then i kind of make like a triangle like that and then i kind of just fill that in then i do the same thing on the other side then I actually make fake birthmarks like around my face. I do it like kind of like in random. So I'll do one like right here. My nose. And my chin. I didn't even mean to do it that low, but whatever. I got a little birthmark happy, but it's okay mascara 
So kind of use like random mascaras for, for today purposes. We are going to be using the Maybelline Falsies mascara. All right, so I'm just kind of going to get my hair together, put my lashes on, and then come back when I'm all put together. Because right now your girl is kind of looking a little... Yeah, I like cut my hair. So, um, and I just kept cutting it. If you're surprised by the look, yeah, don't worry. Just don't be surprised because, yeah, I cut it short. So, I'll be back. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. And it's so funny because this is a whole different day. I've been forgetting to record my outros. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I hope you guys like the look. So, this is typically what I go for. And like I told you guys, I had to cut my hair. So, do you love it? Do we love it? It's given grown and sexy and to make a look of course i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you guys enjoyed this makeup look i know it was kind of hectic very hectic but it's not a video if it's not hectic i swear so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and make sure you guys turn on that notification bell on so you guys are notified every time that i post and also make sure to follow both um the simply girl on this page on youtube and instagram and make sure to follow my personal instagram at bridget.p so i love you guys and stay tuned for another video bye Thank you.